XXX Tentacion's question mark album is now the number one most streamed hip hop album in Spotify history, surpassing Drake's Scorpion, which is really good because Scorpion's kind of trash, and I can't believe that that was ever the number one most streamed hip hop album. The hell are you doing on Spotify? I don't listen to Spotify. I don't. I don't use Spotify, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you're doing on Spotify though. But this is good news. Uh, X definitely deserves it. The album's amazing. Uh, so yeah, there's good news all around for that one. Sure, Studios updated their Twitter banner, and for some reason that was trending. I don't. I don't know why. Like, it's neat. There's a picture of it. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, I like the banner, but it's just it's just the banner. Um, at best, at best, like really really digging into this um it means we might see prime for soon uh, honestly realistically it's just they updated a banner because they're they're working on metroid i don't i don't think it's anything i wouldn't be too concerned when they show something then i'll then i'll consider it something um i just don't see it maybe we see something at e3 like a tr uh, teaser uh but I, I don't see the game coming out this year i feel like at the earliest the game's next year um, this year I feel like we're probably going to get the Prime remake, maybe the Prime trilogy, depends on which um, side of the rumors you want to believe on that one. I feel like that's more likely for this year, and then next year we'll probably get Prime 4. Um, but I, I don't think the, the update on their Twitter banner uh, means anything. People look way too far into things sometimes. The Cuphead show launched today. Uh, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, personally. Uh, I am looking forward to it though. I really like the the style of cartoon. Uh, the rubber hose style is really cool. Uh, people are complaining that it's episodic and uh, what's the like Looney Tunes? I don't. That's a real complaint that people are having about a show that's based off of cartoons from the '30s. Why? Why is that? Why is that a complaint? The show doesn't need to have like an ongoing structure to be good. It's just a cartoon. So the last like four episodes are supposed to be super episodic. Cool. It's a it's a cartoon. Like it, this is the biggest non-complaint I've ever seen. It's it's absolutely ridiculous that this is even a thing. Uh, I don't remember which reviewer said it. Um, if I can figure, if I can remember where I read it, I saw it. this is the tweet I'm referring to, uh, but if I can figure out where this tweet is referencing, I'll, I'll post it here now, or in a description if I can. Um, but it's just, it's just such a non-complaint, like, it's, it's based off cartoons like Felix the Cat and, like, early Mickey, like, they're all one-off shows. I understand it has some sort of structure for like some of the episodes and some of the episodes are episodic but it's really meant to just be an episodic cartoon like it's not it's not that serious I, I think people are overreacting whether the show has other problems or not I, I can't say again I haven't watched it myself but the fact that people are complaining that it's episodic is ridiculous I think that's stupid um, I'm hoping to watch the show and do like a mini review when I'm done um, I'll, I'll get to it eventually. I, I have a lot of videos I want to do, and I just don't have time to do all of them. That's actually why I started this uh, new series. Um, haven't decided what I'm calling it yet exactly, um, but it'll be in the title and thumbnail. You'll, you'll you'll know what it's called by now. Um, because I just don't have time to make a video on everything I want to make about, and some videos would just be way too short, like this topic right here. It's, it'd be like 20 seconds. Um, so yeah, but it is pretty cool. I, I'm looking forward to the show personally. I can't wait to watch it. I'll, if I get time, I will make a re mini review on that show. Finally, got around to watching Tick Tick Boom. Uh, stars Andrew Garfield and Vanessa Hudgens. Uh, there's some other people. I can't think of their names off the top of my head. Um, I'll, I'll look here. More here. I'll always look over here. There'll be stuff written. Um, but yeah, it's a really good movie. It's about uh, John Larson. Uh, guy who wrote Rent. Uh, it's, a, it's a play that he wrote. It's sort of an autobiography uh, in a play. Um, it's good. It's, it's really good. Uh, the music's wonderful. Uh, I really like 3090 and Therapy. I think they're both really good songs. Just standalone, they're they work really well. But in the context of the movie, they work obviously incredibly well. Uh, but the whole soundtrack's really good. Um, I, I highly recommend it. 
I'm a big fan of Rent myself and musicals sort of in general. Uh, I don't get to see as many as I would like um, because I don't, I, I don't go to Broadway or anything like that or even off Broadway or really anything like that. And shows are kind of expensive to go to just in general. I kind of wish they were cheaper. <laughs> um, sort of. I, I wish they were cheaper, but I don't want them to be cheaper because I, I want the people who make them to get paid and, you know, earn a living. So I don't want to take the, the joy to myself to make them cheaper. But wish I could go to more. Can't really go to more. Um, but they are a lot of fun and they are really good most of the time, at least the ones I've seen. Um, Rent is an amazing movie if you haven't seen it at the very least. That's usually where I get to see these kind of things, you know, when they make them into movies. Uh, but Rent's wonderful if you haven't seen it, you know, watch Rent. I don't know who hasn't seen Rent in 2022, but if you haven't, watch it. Um, but also, watch Tick Tick Boom. It's on Netflix. It's really good. I don't really like Netflix, but I signed up for it again just to watch that and the Cuphead show and Don't Look Up. Haven't watched Don't Look Up yet, though, and we either already talked about it or are going to talk about Cuphead coming up. So, yeah. Good movie. Um, highly recommend it. At the very least, listen to the soundtrack. 3090 and Therapy. Really, really good. The Nintendo Wii U and 3DS eShops are shutting down, and people are angry, I guess. I don't, I don't know why, like, okay, they they were going to shut down eventually, I don't see the big deal, uh, I personally didn't see the big deal when Sony was shutting theirs down either, uh, people were freaked out about it, but, are any of you actually buying them, one, one, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt on the 3DS, maybe, maybe someone out there is still using the 3DS eShop, but I know damn well none of you are using that Wii U eShop. You know how I know none of you are using that Wii U eShop? Because only 13 million people bought a Wii U and I own four of them. So I know none of you are using that Wii U eShop. That shit's a lie. Yous are fucking with us. Yous are mad for no reason. You're not using that Wii U eShop. It's fine for it to shut down. It is what it is. It wasn't going to stay up forever. Do I wish Nintendo had a better way to now purchase these uh, classic titles? I guess, kind of. I don't. I personally don't really use it. Uh, I bought some things on my Wii U eShop for the uh, like retro stuff, but not a whole lot. Not enough that I even really care. I bought Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings. I can't even think of another game I actually bought because, for the most part, at least for me, I just buy the actual game. You've, you've seen this channel if you're watching this video. I just buy the actual actual game, so like I don't really care. Um, I plan on going on and buying some stuff from the from the eShop that I want to get that maybe I don't want to have to hook up the old hardware for, or like I think there's a Game Boy Advance stuff on like the Metroid stuff's on there. I'm probably gonna go buy that just to have it on my TV, because um, the Game Boy Advance, you know, I mean I could hook it up to the GameCube, but eh, you know just just to have it another way to play it. Um, I'm probably gonna pick those up, but honestly, the the eShop doesn't. What are you buying on the eShop? Um, that people are actually using. Like, I just I don't see people actually using it, at least on the Wii U, so I don't see the big deal. Uh, and this is coming as from like the biggest Wii U fan ever. Like, I have I have a tattoo of the the Wii U logo. Like, I love the Wii U. It's time for people to let it go. It's done. It never even took off. It's done. Let it go. The 3DS. I'll give people that one. The 3DS isn't really that far past when it was. Uh, still getting games like it just got it got games like 2019 so i i think it's a little soon to be shutting the 3ds uh eShop down um so i kind of i i understand that one i get it but it was gonna happen eventually buy what you want you have until march to buy what you want uh for your credit card or i don't know i know they're saying it's not shutting down the next year but i remember reading somewhere like the they're, they're gonna slow it's gonna be slow like they'll, they'll stop taking credit cards and they'll stop taking the points that you have and then it'll shut down completely. Uh, so I'm not 100%. I would really look into that and get things as soon as possible for yourself. But, you know, it is what it is. It's going to go away eventually. Let it go. But here's the thing. And this is where I get upset with it. And I would understand if more people were upset with this part of it. But they're really not. They're kind of just complaining that they can't use it anymore. That's getting shut down. Um, well, okay. Well, one thing they, they are kind of upset of. The stuff that's digital only. That's a problem. However, that's been a problem. Digital content has been a problem with these shutdowns 
for a long time. And everyone was all for the digital future until they start going away and they're like, oh shit, there's no way to play this stuff anymore. We tried to warn you. The older generation, my, my generation, who you know grew up with actual physical games, tried to warn you. This was a bad idea. They're not going to keep this up forever. What are you going to do when they take it away? And now you're seeing what they're going to do when they take it away because no one supports physical media anymore. Everyone wants to buy shit digitally because it's convenient. I don't see the convenience. If you're that fucking lazy, you can't get up and put a disc in. You're fucking stupid. Uh, I, I have no sympathy for you. Like it, It's really not that hard to just put a fucking disc in or a cartridge in, whatever. It's really not that big of a deal. Most people, it's not that big of a difference between just having it on the system, especially something like the Wii U or the PS4 or whatever. These systems aren't portable. You're not you're not carrying it around. There's no there's no ease there. It's just laziness. With the 3DS, I kind of get it, but not really, because, like, what are you downloading? Like, do you really need, like, 30 games on you at a time? Like, you probably just can play one game, maybe a couple, like, retro games. That's it. I understand the retro downloads as well, because, like, they're still available elsewhere. But the games that are exclusively downloads, like, uh, there's a Rhythm Heaven game on the 3DS. It's download only. That sucks. That really sucks for people because that's gone. That's gone. It's not, you're never going to get that. Um, maybe Nintendo releases it physically in like a rhythm having collection for the Switch. That'd be really cool, actually. I hope they do. But other than that, you're really not going to get this game back, and that really sucks. But this is why I've been warning you about digital only content for such a long time. It, when it goes away, it's gone. It, there's no preservation of this anymore. And the 3DS being a split screen like the DS, it's really hard to preserve some of these games now. So it, it is what it is. Um, this is why digital content should not be exclusive. It should Things should be released physically, um, at least in my opinion. Uh, but also, and more importantly, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, they need to work harder on preserving their digital content in a way that people can still access it. Be it through libraries, or which I know they, they fight against, but just public libraries. You know, your, your public library should be able to offer you these digital games, especially ones that are no longer being sold in any form. But also, uh, the Video Game Foundation. Why why don't they have like access to this kind of stuff for preservation's sake? Uh, they I know they fight against it, I don't know why. Uh, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, the fake outrage about, oh, I'm not going to be able to buy anything on my Wii U anymore, you can go fuck yourself, because you didn't buy a Wii U anyway, I know you didn't buy a Wii U anyway, this is your fault. Um, the 3DS, I'll give you a little credit there. You probably aren't using it, but at least you could use it. Um, and I think it's a little early for the 3DS to be going away, considering how successful it was, and that they were just selling 3DSs like a year or two ago. Uh, so I think that's a little bit soon to be rushing away. Um, and again, preservation, I feel like there is an issue there that is worth a discussion and worth an argument. But that's really, that's really it. Uh, they, there needs to be a better access to this digital-only content if you're going to make your content digital-only. Personally, I prefer things to just be released physically as an option. Um, even if Nintendo just, like, did it through their website. You know, you, you could go on the website and you can order it, and that's it. You, it wasn't in stores, they weren't shipping it out or anything like that. It was on their website, you bought it, that was it, fine. I'd be okay with that personally, um, but the fact that it's only digital means that it, it, times like now we lose access to it it's just gone forever um that really sucks um yeah that as a, if you watch the channel you know i'm a physical collector so you know i don't like the whole digital storefronts to begin with um so yeah i'm not happy about this but you know what i i bought the wii u <laughs> i bought and supported the wii u you probably didn't um, so it going away, I don't really think anyone should be mad about that. Like, I'm not even mad about that. It is what it is. That, that was destined to happen. I'm surprised, honestly, that it lasted this long. Uh, which is also why I'm surprised the 3DS is going away at this point, because the, the Wii U lasted fucking forever after it's been dead, but the 3DS didn't really get that much time after it, this, after the system was, you know, has run its course. Um, my suggestion? Buy the games you want now. Get on it. Buy, buy what you want now because it's going to be tough to get later. Or mod your system. Hack it. I don't care. It's not my problem. Do whatever, do whatever you want. Um, personally, I'm, I'm just going to go out and buy the physical copies of games I can. And if it's gone digitally, it, it's gone digitally. It, it is what it is. The Pokemon Company finally released the uh, official artwork for the Pokemon that weren't revealed before Legends Arceus came out. 
Um, these artworks look a lot better than they do in game. Uh, as someone who's a fan of the game, uh, the game it, it doesn't look that great. But these artwork looks real. This this artwork looks really good. It makes it, uh, especially the starters, look a lot better than the leaked images did. And honestly, than they look in the game in general. Uh, I don't really have too much to say on these though. They they look cool. If you haven't seen them, there you go. That's it.